today's video is going to be my 2015 favourites. I really really wanted to do one of these videos to kind of like round off my year and I'm sorry that it's kind of like halfway through January but I still really wanted to upload it. So basically I've got a load of products on my bed here and I'm just going to go through them and say why I loved them and yeah. It's been quite hard to narrow it down, like I've liked a lot of things this year. Um, but I didn't want the video to be too long, so I picked, I would say, about 10, 12 products out, and I will show you them now. My hair just doesn't stay straight. Okay, so I think I'm going to start with makeup, because there's been quite a lot of things that have been new to me this year that I have just used throughout the whole year. So I'll start with this. I feel like I got this product at the very beginning of the year, and I've used it, like, non-stop. I've gone through a couple of these. This is the Rimmel London Wake Me Up foundation and I use the colour True Ivory. Now I kind of think the colour is the slightest bit dark for me so what I do is mix it with a lighter shade but I do need to next time that I buy this buy a lighter shade I think. I absolutely love this foundation it goes on so easily onto my skin and I feel like it just adds a really nice glow and the coverage is also really good especially for school because it's not like huge like you're not caked in makeup but you still get coverage I think it's really really good and it lasts all day for me so yeah it says SPF 15 which is always a good thing and it has vitamin C in it this has definitely been a favorite of 2015 now I think this was in my favorites for December slash November but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll with it so I've been loving this concealer now I even prefer this to the collection concealer which as everyone knows is hugely raved about on YouTube but I kind of prefer this one and this is from 17 it's stay stay up to 18 hours time wait oh. full cover f full cover flores floor oh god gosh make full cover flawless finish concealer this is the lightest shade I absolutely love this it's not too thick which is what I find with the collection one it's just more easy to like blend in I find and it also lasts a really long time. It's so good. So now onto mascara. I would say I found this product about October and I've been using it every day since. So this is the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Mascara. This is a dupe of their Real Mascara by Benefit, but obviously it's a lot cheaper. I talked about this in my last favourites video, just in case nobody saw it. Literally is amazing. So Honestly, I recommend to try this out because it is so good. Next up, I have a makeup brush. Now, Real Techniques is something that I got to try out this year and I got them for my birthday. And this is the buffing brush. Now, again, this is something I use every day. It's just so much better than what I used to do was like rub it in with my fingers and that would sometimes leave marks. I just really love using a brush. I feel like I don't know, I kind of get excited to do my makeup every morning when I wake up. I actually really enjoy to do it, but um, yeah, I absolutely love these brushes. They are quite expensive, but I don't know, I just, I think they're worth it. Mine needs a little bit of a clean. <laughs> then the final bit of makeup to show you is a lipstick. Now this is Rimmel London, they have my favourite like drugstore brand for lipsticks. Um, and this is the Kate Moss collection that they brought out this year. I use this for every day at school. As you can see, it's quite low down now. Um, it's number three and it's their like nude collection. It's just so like simple. It's just a nude basically, but it's so simple. I really like it. And it's something again I can use every day. Moving on to skincare, I kind of like took this product for granted, I think. Like I didn't realise how good it actually was. This is the Simple Kind of Skin Hydrating Moisturiser. So I kind of bought this as my first moisturiser when I got into skincare. Probably was 2014. <laughs> um, but I've used it throughout 2015 as well. At one point this year I did actually move to a different moisturiser to find out if I was using the best one. And that one was just too thick. I couldn't like move it on and I just, I don't know. It's a very like simple product, it's cheap. I don't mean the brand simple, I mean it's simple. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, next, and um, next up for skincare. I don't know what you mean by, I just think it's really good. How about a web search for it? Siri, what are you doing? So next up for skincare, I have the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish. Now again, I think this is something I bought in October, so it's quite new to me. I feel like it's made my face a lot clearer, but like more glowy what you doing understand, but I am soft and clearer. Siri shut up mate what are you playing at it is 
on the pricey side I think it's about £16 but I think it's worth it like I feel a lot better using it as well I feel like I'm improving my skin and if I've got like a load of spots one day if I wake up with so many spots I'll use this twice a day for as long as I need to and I feel like the spots clear up I mean they're still there but they reduce in size and redness and they're a lot harder to see I just really really like this product oh I missed this out for makeup what am I doing <sighs> how could I miss this oh my goodness this is my favorite thing in the world this is again something I got for my birthday in September this is like my favorite thing I use this at every like weekend and I try and test out different styles of wearing eyeshadow I just absolutely love this the brush that you get with it is really good for blending as well and it has a smaller end to what I like to do now is add like this one half baked which is gold add that into like the middle of a smoky eye and this is a really good brush for it and oh, I just I absolutely love this the only thing I would say is that I would want it to have some more mattes like I feel like tease is the only matte shade um, but I mean I've got other little palettes that I can use with matte colours in it's the only naked palette I've got but I don't think any others are kind of what I would wear so this is like my perfect palette and then finally for skincare I have this and this is the body shop coconut butter um body butter no say that again I feel like the the body shops like famous for their body butters probably I'm wrong about that this it smells amazing I absolutely love coconut things every time I have a bath and shower well when I remember to <laughs> I like to like use this on my legs and my arms and honestly it makes them so soft it's so thick I feel like it's really like a luxury product <laughs> I've given quite a lot of them as presents I just think they're great and it smells amazing I love coconut so much my friend Anna got me into like Victoria's Secret um, well I prefer pink actually but she got me into that shop <laughs> um, and when I first went in I bought this and this is the purple and I purple iris and amber mist and this honestly smells amazing I wear it a lot to school and I feel like it lasts a long time normally body mists don't last a long time for me but this does so this is amazing I hope they still sell this oh and it was only six pound which is so cheap I think especially because of the brand like the name pink is quite expensive um, but also because of the quality and the smell and then for Christmas Anna got me this one and I'm not sure on the price of this I mean obviously it's quite a lot bigger but uh, yeah I'm not sure and um, this is warm and cozy and this is a more like vanilla -y smell I feel like this is more for winter and the other one could be summer maybe this one is so nice as well so if you've never like given their body mists a try please do because they are so good and then moving on to my last two things now I have this and uh, this is a Primark scented candle <laughs> now this is something I found this year like I wasn't really into candles but now I am this is only a pound <laughs> and it lasts for up to 12 hours which is really good the value is so good like a pound I really like the lid as well I think it looks really cute so this one is sweet vanilla and coconut and it smells really nice they burn really well like they don't leave stuff around the edge like they burn in a circle candle burners will know what I mean <laughs> and then the final thing in this video is the Bubblegum Lip Scrub by Lush and um, when I received this as like a gift I thought that it was just gonna be one of those things that kind of sits there but recently because of winter and your lips get really really chapped I've started to use it quite a lot when you put it on it kind of like exfoliates and the dead skin comes off and uh, your lips are left really soft um, so I have been loving this and it also like tastes I know you shouldn't eat it but it tastes really really good so that is it that is a summary of things that I've been loving in 2015 obviously there's so many more products that I could have showed you I just didn't want the video to be too long also Anna's waiting downstairs to film an SFG video so we needed to hurry up so that's it let me know in the comments what you've been loving this month don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you next Saturday bye